I'm going to talk a little bit about drones today. I don't endorse any of these products or anything like that, but there are a lot of common mistakes that people make when they go and buy drones. Drones for themselves, drones for their children. Um, I had a situation where a friend of mine went out, bought a $150 drone for his kid. His kid didn't even know how to fly a drone or not very well, kind of played with it a little bit. The very first time he took it outside, it was gone, never to be found again. So there are some things that you should know before you start flying drones. Um, I currently have three drones. Um, they're, you know, they're just cheap drones. They're nothing fancy. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna show you. I got them laid out because I want people to see. You don't need to spend a lot of money on the first drone. In fact, one came with the camera. That was the first thing I did was snapped the camera off of it. Um, it doesn't need to be super costly. All three of my drones, not a one of them cost over $60. Uh, but to buy somebody a gift of a $150 or $200 drone, you might be making a mistake. Um, start out small, learn how to fly. The smaller the drone, the easier it's gonna be to fly. Um, so, well, no, let me rephrase that. The harder it is to fly, but the best one to learn on and they're pretty indestructible for the most part. You really have to hit them hard. Um, my drones are very small. They're nothing big. Let me move this chair out of the way here. But you don't have to spend a lot of money. Before you go buy that big expensive drone, get yourself some experience with some hands-on with just a cheap old drone. Um, I'm gonna show you the three that I have right here uh, and I'll let you take a look. So, the drone to the far left, um, this guy right here, that one is pretty much my first one. I was doing some stuff for work, had to pick up some office supplies, happened to walk by a stand, it was getting close to Christmas time. That little drone was $25.99. It works like a champ, operates great. Um, then I ran across these other two. This one here, this one was $29.99, it works great. It's got the little guards on it right there so uh, I can play with the dog with it. The dog loves these things. And even this one was $59.99. All of them have very similar remotes. Um, the left controller on each of them is you are moving uh, up and down um, or rotating, meaning your yaw. Uh, that actually makes the copter rotate. Your uh, right stick makes it go forward, makes it go backwards or sideways, either direction. Uh, they all have uh, slow features on them so that if you are a beginner, um, they don't, they're not as quick and as fast and they're still pretty fast, but um, it gives you time to kind of learn it. And you can uh, make little adjustments on these, like if it doesn't hover straight, my big thing was, first thing I did was I wanted to learn how to hover it and keep it in one spot. Keep it under control. That's the biggest thing. Keep it under control. If your drone's not in control, you are going to hurt somebody. Uh, so before you go buy your kid that big expensive drone that he's been wanting or, um, uh, you know, anything like that, get him a small one first. Get him just a cheap one play around with it. That is the best way for anybody to learn is with a small drone. The smaller the drone, the better. The bigger the drone, the nicer they handle, the easier they are to operate. Uh, so, you know, start with the tiny one. Get that $25 drone and play with it. Play with it. If you break it, no big deal. 25 bucks is cheaper than going to a movie for the weekend. So, um, highly recommend just a cheap drone to start with. You get good at that. You earn your way up. It's like on a ship, you know. You start out as a swab, and if you get better at it, then you become become mate, you know. So that's my thing on drones. Uh, I just wanted to cover this real quickly because I see a lot of mistakes happening out there with people these days, and they're just not paying attention. 
and you know you start getting into the bigger ones you need you need uh, licensing for that kind of stuff too so uh, things to take into consideration before going out and buying that big expensive drone learn how to fly one first thank you for your time today if you like this video please like and share it uh, subscribe to the channel I'll be putting out more content off and on as I can uh, again I work an eight to five job so um, sometimes the editing can take a little while as many of you know but I certainly hope you enjoyed this and hope it was informational and helpful I really think you should.